Guys, welcome back. This is the first job after vacation. This is gonna be a good one. I'm gonna make it short and sweet. There was a lot going on today. I didn't get to film a lot. So we're just gonna talk about this job because it's part of the car wash job and I've been keeping you guys updated for the most part. So basically what's going on here is we are coming out of the transformer for some more power because we're running out. We are installing um, a bunch of vacuums into this space and the customer didn't wanna cut concrete and we ran out of space. So we're gonna put everything outdoors now. So we're basically laying the pipe so that way we can form the concrete for the pad that we're going to be needing for all of this new equipment. So we're going to be doing a 400 amp service. We're going to be coming out of the transformer that you see in it's like green right behind me. And we're going to be coming out of that with five or 600 MCM into a fused 400 amp disconnect. And from there, we're going to be running one run of 250 MCM for the motor for this whole service, for the whole vacuum. And then we're gonna be coming out with four aught into a NEMA 3 rated outdoor panel for the customer in case there's anything later on that we need to install. We all have power outside because we're running out inside. So we're running four inch conduit to this pad from the transformer, three inch conduit from the pad all the way over to the motor for the vacuums. And then we're running another pipe for a spare it's a two inch that's still going to the vacuums just in case and we also ran one one inch run from the pad to the vacuum space in case we need additional power there ever so once we get all the material for this job we're basically going to come back in once the concrete dries and put all of our equipment up that's the transformer right there you can see it but so the concrete is coming now and they're pouring it. We're here to make sure that our pipes don't move because if they move, it's gonna be a huge deal later. And I think it looks pretty good, to be honest with you. So this is just me putting in the last piece of three inch for this back unit. The motor is right behind me, it's ginormous. But we're not gonna be wiring that part, we're just bringing the power. Not to mention today was like the hottest day of the year and like it's September, why is it hot still? <laughs> But yeah, so this is what it looks like, and that's the outdoor panel. This is me overheating after, and Matt built Mason a sandbox, which is fire. And this is our new grill. Stay tuned because I want to make a video about this whole setup in my entire backyard. So stay tuned. Next video is going to be the floor, to be honest.